Hello, dear Manifesting All Possibilities. Uh, my Instagram is still looking for a signal. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Manifesting All Possibilities. And uh, both on Facebook and on uh, Instagram, because we have this private Facebook group at the same time, so that we can meet the family. Hello, who's here? Santino, welcome, welcome, Real Reality. All right, fantastic, welcome here. We meet, oh, Jackie's here. <laughs> uh, we meet every Monday to Friday at three o'clock central time here in Texas, but we are a family from all over the world. Jackie, <laughs> fantastic. Nice to have you here today. It's, oh, Patty is here on Facebook. Look at that. Look at that. It's just so awesome to have both. And Jan is joining us on Facebook too. Great. So how was your weekend, everyone? You had a good time? I was at the beach like usual. I posted on Facebook my super duper sunset. If you see it, so it, it was just outstanding uh, out of this world, literally. I ended up doing a, a total panoramic of that, like in a very long picture of the whole view. It was so gorgeous. Hi, Farah is here. Hello, how are you doing? We missed you. There's Rocky Rocks, fantastic, hello. So if you're new here, let me give you the, the tips, the how it works, okay? Uh, so I am, just so that you know me, if you have never heard about me, I'm a licensed psychotherapist. I'm the author, the best-selling author of uh, a book, Abundance on Demand, and the co-founder of MAP, Manifesting All Possibilities, which is a new, completely new quantum leap in the field of psychology. But what I really do and love the most is empowering humanity and telling everyone we can create our reality. And that's why we need tools to master our mind and emotions because that's really the secret. That's how we manifest worlds around us. Hey, Crystal's here. Hello, I have your, I have my, my crystals here. <laughs> I have my dear ones. Uh, yes, how was your weekend? Yeah, we missed you, Farah, for a little while. But you always represent San Diego and the flame. At the end of the uh, session, we all do a hug around the world, and Farah represents San Diego. No matter what, even if you're working, we just hold hand with you energetically you hold the flambeau you hold the flame in san diego and there was some other another person from san diego so you might feel meet a friend when we all meet on facebook so let's back up for all those new people that i don't know the names yet there's goga there is lise there is deborah hello hello welcome and then we have unleash your gold mind yes and he here all right so you too. Yes, fantastic. Jen is saying hi to everyone on the Instagram at the same time. So, Goga, great. Tell me where you are from. So, anyone who is new here, as soon as you tell me where you're from, you belong to the family. You're more than welcome even when you don't tell me where you're from. But when you tell me, Nova Scotia, where is Nova Scotia? Don't remember suddenly. Debra, oh, Croatia, we have Goga from Croatia, fantastic. Welcome, Goga, oh yes, Radinovic, I think, I guess I remember your last name and not your first name, even though you've been here before. I just looked at, uh, I missed the last name. So we have Raj from Los Angeles, hello, from Brazil, Mandy, you're the first you're the second one in Brazil. And where are you from Brazil exactly? Mandy, Brazil. Fantastic. We have a second Brazilian here. And we have a first Croatian, which is Goga. <laughs> I love to know where you're all from. 
because we're going to do this big hug and we just our brown is from north california fantastic you're in the in the state of farah sao paulo all right mandy i will be able to put a little pin on my map sao paulo and um, you will represent sao paulo for us for this family here as I said, we meet every day uh, from Monday to Friday, and then we keep the party going in the Facebook group. So in order to be invited, so listen to me if you're new here, there's one thing and one thing only to do. Going to go on the bio of the, of the Instagram after the session here. You go there, you click on the link. There is a link to a gift page. When you sign up for that, you're going to have two emails. One, giving you tons of gifts, including my book, my bestseller book. And second, you're going to be invited to a private Facebook group. And please join. Just come to the link and I will accept you. And then it's family and it's party time. We share tons of things. We party with energy, with crystals with good ideas with supporting each other with everything like that and we have christy here hello christy i'd love to you yeah she's austin from austin christy's an awesome she is actually the very first map practitioner that is practicing and certified in the world aside from another person that uh, is, uh, is not practicing right now so Christy yes is our supervisor uh, you know she's helping she's supporting the entire certification program uh, she is yeah she's a, she's a wonderful wonderful person so if you ever need anyone to do map on you directly Christy is the girl she's the one she's the star right now <laughs> There are other people coming in the funnels through the certification, but uh, really, Christy has like more than 600 sessions under her belt, and she's just awesome. All right, so just remember Oliver, Bottom, and all of you, Eugenia, please click on the link at the end of the, the session. Join us in the Facebook group, because that's where the party is. That's where all the questions get answered, and and we get to post and to help each other and to actually to build friendship there is uh two people there is two people from san uh san diego right now that you could meet you see and there is like four or five from london and england and there is so you you could just really meet friends from all over the world voila so let me see the questions here and let me tell everyone in my house that the Instagram is on. Hello, Instagram is on. All right. So then there is a little less noise. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? All right. Oh, someone else joined. Hi, Angie. Hello. So, sending peace and love to all and everyone. Yes, Raj Monogram, fantastic. Where are you from? I don't think I've seen you before or at least seen where you are from. As soon as you tell me where you're from, you have a big chance that I can remember where, who you are. Oh, Susanna is here. Hello, Susanna from Brazil. And so you can see your friend, Nikolai is here, hi. How are you doing? How is Athens? Are you still in Athens? Nikolai is from Bulgaria, but he was traveling to Athens lately. And we have Raj from Los Angeles. Great Raj. LA. I love LA. I've been so many times last year. That's actually where I met Chris Duncan, my really big favorite friend and business partner. So Angie say, I'm about to be driving, so I can't stay. I'm leaving a ninja view near your house. Near my house? I'm leaving an interview near your house. What does that mean? Hello. <laughs> it went well. Oh, great. You did an interview. Okay, it went well. And Danny is joining. 
Great news. Here we go. Angie's rocking it. We just unleashed our potential on Friday, on uh, last Thursday, I think. And we uh, it just helped her go up the ladder of emotions into more power. And suddenly she gets all this good stuff going, which is so awesome. Yes. Oh, I don't know, and she did she had a, <laughs> an interview near my house where I live. Yes, <laughs> awesome. So let's find out what we're going to do today. What are the ideas? I have my favorite Uber taxi. I've been used, like using Uber twice a week to go to the beach, etc. I, I needed to use Uber and I got this awesome person um, like about two, three weeks ago, and he was totally open to the law of attraction, totally asking questions, and those Uber drives ends up being like training sessions, and he's so honored and loves it so much that, um, yeah, so that was fun. I had my little student in my Uber taxi today, and uh, it's not a little guy, it's actually a champion in heavyweight martial arts so just like a heavy big guy but give him the chill each time we talk about the laws of the universe you know and i say something that resonates with him awesome all right just put out oh you just got out of the hospital sonia wow welcome back out of that oh yay you have been living there well welcome into the world we'll be we're in the high vibe make sure you you join in the the high vibe tribe okay the private facebook group make sure you join in and uh, it's all about high vibration so share your solutions your beautiful things sometimes if you need help you can ask for help too it's just mainly vibrationally raising everyone's vibrations so that we feel good and we learn how we can be empowered and healthy. You can't hear me. Hmm. Is there anything? Anyone else is can? I think I'm good. Tell me if I'm good. High vibrations. Exactly. That's the deal. But I don't think it's me. Uh, let me know, everyone else, if you cannot hear me, I would like to know. But hey, Franzi from Germany. You're good. Okay, great. Thanks. Franzi is here. So we have Germany, we have Athens, we have California, we have all those places all over. Wishing wellness. Yes, everyone is wishing you good strengths and everything. Oh, you hear me, Susanna? Great. Hello, Dee's here from Australia. We have more coming in. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, Nikolai. Okay, in Bulgaria. Oh, you're back to Bulgaria. Okay. You are from the Philippines, Amelina. Yes. Wow, we have the whole world today. We have Australia, the Philippines, we have Croatia, we have, man, we have the Philippines. That's fantastic. <sighs> Amelin, Amelin from the Philippines. Oh man, she ha we have so many people. It's so awesome. Let's get going, let's have fun, let's learn something, let me share with you or support you. Was told it hasn't... Oh, someone is having pain here. So what crystals do you recommend for attracting? Okay, David is asking a question. So good we have crystal... Oh, sorry for that. Good we have crystal on the call here. It's not her true name, but I like to call her Crystals. So Crystals on the call, she can recommend more Crystals. She's the one giving us classes on the Facebook group. <laughs> oh, all right. So let's, let's keep it up, guys. High vibration for everyone. That's okay. 
uh, things happen, we learn from it. So when there are relationships that you attract into your world, so now I'm just going to kick your spiritual ass, okay? Uh, <laughs> you attract 100% of your world. No big deal, it's actually the best news on the planet because then it helps you find out what's still resonating with you. So if you attract someone who is not loving or whatever, or well, there is something in you that resonated with that and you needed to know that, you see? And then you can grow self-love, grow, find out what you need to feel good and whole and loved by your own self. And then relationships are easier because you resonate with that, you know? So you're never a victim of anything in this group. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm just going to kick your spiritual ass. Like I said, you know, it's going to be A. Let's look at the facts. We are resonating. If we're creating something, we have to create everything, okay? And you cannot just be selective and say, oh, I'm creating all the good stuff in my life and everything that I don't like and nothing to do with it. I wish it was true, but it's not. And the good news is it's awesome. It's actually awesome. Because how would you know yourself? How would you know and discover your patterns? How would you discover who you truly are? If you didn't have mirrors, if you didn't have people that you invite, you co-create, you cannot have anyone coming into your world be, unless you have co-created it, that there is some level of intentment at the soul level that invited that person in. And that person represents a part of you that needs to be healed, that needs to grow. So it's always a great news. It's very painful, I admit. But once you can back up a little bit and heal, you will see that, wow, you would have never been grown. You would have never been that person if that didn't happen to you. So you can be very, at the end, you will be very grateful. Uh, it's a, you know, this spiritual path right now is not the easiest around. I mean, it's a, it's a path where we have to look at those things because as we're getting into the fifth dimension, there is no place for that. There's no place for places in ourselves that we don't love. There's no place for judgment or criticism or blaming. There's no place for any of those vibrations anymore. So if you attract someone who is blaming, just find out, do you blame? You know, if you attract someone who is angry, is there a place inside of you that is angry? Not at that person, perhaps, or yes, at that person, but perhaps at another person. And then you want to heal that. And then you won't attract people who are angry anymore. You see? So it's a, it's a tough thing because you have to look at yourself and your ego is going to say, uh-uh, I don't want that. I don't want to be responsible. I don't want to have anything to do with that because I'm, I'm perfect. But eh, you're not. None of us is. And we're here to grow and change. And that's what this group is about also. It's to say, hey, you know, I'm the creator of all of it. And that's okay. That's all good. Because at the end, it's going to be fabulous. The fact that you're in this group means that you're ready to grow and that you're going to p bypass all of that. You're going to grow so much that you will be the happiest person you can ever be. The most loving the most caring, the most compassionate, the happiest person, and of course the luckiest and everything you want with so much abundance. So that's where you're going. So it might be a little difficult you're joining it at a time, you know, where you need help and that's usually the case. That's why we are here. Some of us are doing really well. Some of you are struggling. That's okay. We're here to help. That's why we have a family here. We are here to help each other raise our vibration all together. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you just have to express your emotions and, uh, and go through them. There is no better way than just going through an emotion. If you put no judgment on the emotion, you're going to be experiencing it as a curiosity, as source energy. 
I'm not kidding. You can experience crying and be observ observing yourself crying. And you're going to observe, you know, how does it feel in your body? And then as you're the observer, you realize this is not I, this is not my higher self, okay? It's mm, the conditioning, my brain, my thoughts, creating those sad thoughts. But really, it's just what it is. So let's find out what's going on here. There's lots of things going on on Instagram and that you exist. Marta says, I'm so glad that you exist. People like you, great. Yeah, look in the mirror. Lady Jane says, look in the mirror and says, I love you. You know why it's so important, why it's so powerful? Is that your eyes are the reflection of your soul and you're looking into yourself. And when you look into yourself, the mirror has always told you the truth, you see. And so it's you see a mirror, you see someone in the mirror telling you, I love you. You're much more open to receive and to accept actually that message. First of all, it's your own voice. Then it's your own self. And it's in the mirror. So unconsciously, the mirror is always reflecting a truth. Um even if, you know, it's the symbolic of it. And a drink, just make sure it doesn't. Yes. All right, crystals in the waters, sounds awesome. Yeah, we're getting class on that here. Crystal is telling us we can put crystals in water if they are, you know, healthy and well cleaned up. <laughs> Jackie says, how do you know, always know exactly what I am experiencing? <laughs> we are all one. There is no separation. The brain is telling us we're separated. We are, we have a program. It's like we are literally in a matrix where we have a program in our mind. Our brain is set to believe in separation. However, if we were to look at the truth, the fact is, all of these are protons and electrons vibrating at the speed of light. So it's all empty space, more or less, like 99% empty. So I'm just vibrating. When you're vibrating, you're sending waves into the universe. Now I'm sending it at the speed of light. You are sending it at the speed of light. We are miss. Have you seen waves coming together and entering into... Um, harmony or disharmony and canceling each other we are constantly changing this field of energy nothing is solid everything has a vibration when it's lower it's more dense when it's lighter it's thoughts and emotions but it's the same thing so we're in this field of infinite vibration and energy and we are constantly changing information so you just need to tune. That's what I do in my work. It's like I tune into people's thoughts and I can feel what they feel and kind of know the depths of, of things. Uh, <clears throat> but it's because we're all interconnected and, and you can do that too, of course. It's all open to everyone. Nikolai, yes, um, but it's the best, the silver. Okay, you're talking... All right, we're changing a lot of round crystals on the Instagram right now. <laughs> so that's cool. So, um, do you have any other questions? So one of the questions was, we are all interconnected. That's why what you accept in your field is something that resonates with you. If not, it wouldn't be able to approach you. It would be rejected like a magnet. You see, either it attracts or you reject. Have you ever seen those plates? I want to post it on a Facebook group. And just make sure everyone, if you're not in the Facebook group yet, there's only one path and it's really easy. You go on the Instagram link in my bio. It's the link that give, leads to a gift page. Once you sign up for the gift page, you receive another email immediately that invites you to the Facebook group. 
So please join in, go back to the link that is in the email and join in. And so you will see the party goes on over there and we have much more information, especially crystals, giving her awesome courses on crystals. And it's just like, wow, sharing beautiful pictures. There was a, there was a beautiful movie, this little movie this morning about a deer <laughs> eating outside in a garden in, uh, in the island, Virgin Island that we have here. So, we have a member from the Virgin Island. All right, so Charles, Charles is asking the question. So I'm attracting all the negative energies surrounding me. Yeah. You are a magnet. We are all magnets. And our magnets, how you tune your magnet is through your thoughts and emotions and habits of thoughts. So that means you're so habituated, you are not even aware of them. That's what we often call the unconscious mind. And, um, and we, we work on that in depth uh, in the course that, you know, in the inner group, inner circle that I have with some of my students. And it's called the Magnetizing Million. And so those unconscious thoughts are actually creating magnetic fields and are attracting situations in your life in terms of money, in terms of love, in terms of everything that repeats themselves, situations that keep repeating themselves. And so if you have something that repeats itself, that means you have a thought that is habitual and it might end up being unconscious and, um, and you don't really know what you're doing. But the good news is, it can be found, it can be treated, neutralized, and your life can completely be transformed. So that's the awesome news. I say the deer, yes, Nikolai the deer, it was amazing. Yeah, you saw the deer, it was amazing, absolutely. So what if other people send negative energy sometimes? I just ignore them and shut my thoughts. I think that works. Yes. You know what? Unless you put attention on it, attention is what opens the door. So when you put attention on it, now if you're putting attention and resisting what you're trying to put attention on, you're still attracting it. So the best is to shift your attention and not believe in it. There is, you don't have to believe in that thought. No energy can come into your world unless you observe it and you get into resonance with it and therefore you accept it. So you can just go around and really magnetize the idea and strengthen the idea that you're a powerful creator and strengthen your positive thoughts and be very aware of your focus. If you're focusing against something, you're actually literally attracting it. So be very careful because it's very subtle. You might think, oh, I don't want this, I don't want that, I'm going to strengthen. Well, what are you doing? You're thinking about it instead of thinking of flowers. And, oh, I'm going to focus on beautiful rainbows and what's going on there or my favorite crystal or, you know, shift your attention. Nobody can get into your field unless you allow it through your own thoughts and vibration. Jackie says, how does one neutralize an enthusiasm, <laughs> an enthusiasm? <laughs> All right. An enthusiasm, you know, we are like, Abraham Hicks talks about that, we're like a cork in the water. Your natural state as a baby is to float. You know, it's like your cork. That's your natural state, to feel good, to be happy. So everything that is heavy, or heavy thoughts keep you down and you're focusing on things that are light like we're doing in the Facebook group you know your beautiful deers and beautiful animals and nature and things that you love and things you appreciate and all of that by shifting your attention you're restructuring your vibration 
The thing is, there is a momentum going. So once you have done more than 17 seconds, it's harder to stop the momentum. So the very best thing to do is either to go to sleep, but then make sure you don't pick it up when you come back and, and just think the same thoughts, or meditate. Meditate is stopping the negative thoughts. Meditate is stopping more or less a lot of thoughts and it slows down tremendously the negative thoughts. So if you want to be more inspired and more enthusiastic, begin meditating more because that will slow down and eventually stop and then the positive energy will eventually come up as a natural state because that's who you are. You see, that's your natural state. So, of course, there is map and map on the go and other things where you want to make sure that the big boulders in your life are dissolved, neutralized. So you want to eliminate or neutralize or heal anything that you, anyone you have not forgiven yourself, if you have something you have not forgiven yourself, um, traumas, traumatic events, painful memories that are triggered by what's going on around you. So there are, there are a lot of big heavy backpacks you need to let go of. And when you let go of them, it's for the rest of your life. So when you, when you do that, what happens is then you're lighter and you're lighter for the rest of your life. So it's really worth it to do the inner work. You might need some coaching or some, you know, some help or some support. But once you do that, if you de make the determination that that's who you are going to be, that's what you're going to do and you're going to do whatever it takes for you to, oh, Karina is here, hello and you're going to do whatever it takes so that this year is going to be the best year ever. You're going to grow so much. And then from then on, after that, it's better and better and happier and happier all the time. So it is worth clearing the house. It's like you have, you have a house right now and everyone has that, does that. You accumulate trash in your house, you know, but you try to hide it, you know? So if there is a cupboard there, you fill it up. There's another cupboard, you fill it up. Then it begins to, you know, there's some smells and it affects you. You try to hide it under the, the carpet, behind the stuff. And, um, and people try to live their life happy that way. And there is no other way than looking under, you know, and going for it and cleaning up your house. And when you clean up your house, I promise you, you will not bring up the crap anymore instead of it. You're going to be very careful then. You're going to let go as you, as you evolve in your life. And then you're going to have the, this beautiful space where everything can be created. Everything, you have much more energy, you have lightness, you're attractive, you have everything you want is in that space where it's zen, where it's clear, where it's clean. You see? And um, there is a moment in life where you need to just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do whatever it takes. And it might take six months, a year or two or whatever it takes, you know, depending on your past and the fast and the speed and the technique you use and, and the support you get. But it's worth it. It's worth it because it's for the rest of your life, you know. That's probably very true, David said yes. So Martin, yes, hello. Can someone get rid of fear that was there for a few years? Absolutely. Absolutely. The time you have been in fear doesn't matter. It's an emotion. Like in MAP, you have two different types of, I can explain to you, there are two different types of memories. And it really doesn't matter how long you've been afraid of, it's the same memory. You just keep reproducing and, and nourishing. So the emotion is attached to the base memory. What you want is, a, is you know, when you get the right command in that your, your emotions are going to be detaching and the fear will leave you forever in that zone. If it's a phobia or if it's something you don't want, a trauma that happened or Yes, you can totally change that. That's the good news. 
yeah in control there are now there is the method there is tools there is ways to do it it's not like you know five ten years ago or 20 years ago Charles says I say I want to be alone all the time is that why people flock to my house all day every day <laughs> I'm serious yeah that's a great question well yes you see you said you want to be alone but instead of that's a great experience okay what you say you want there are two roads there, there are two ways to the road okay you're saying you want to be alone but you're actually looking at the busy side of the road you know you're going towards being never alone because there are there is a choice and it's very subtle that's what trips people up in the law of attraction they say oh i'm always saying what i want i should get what i want yes but the energy behind it is i'm frustrated i don't want it etc so it's a resistance so you're actually looking towards what you don't want even though your words are saying i want that your feelings are saying i am tuning into the opposite of what i want so your feelings are telling the truth of your vibration that's why you need to to be on a constant awareness of how you feel every minute of the day how do i feel because i'm thinking i want to be alone but i'm feeling i'm bothered by them so i'm going to get more people to bother me now imagine the other thought is i love being alone i adore the quietness it feels like peace it feels like space it feels like and then you spend five ten minutes thinking and feeling about being alone you see even though your world is busy that's where you have to trick your brain you cannot look at reality complain about it and create something completely new you're going to look at reality complain about it create more complain about it create more okay that's really how it all works oh Rosa is saying I managed to let go of all of it but it's hard to keep it that way since the cause of it all won't change it doesn't change immediately you're right so there is a moment where things don't change and you still have to be in your illusion you still have to not all the time but at least spend five ten minutes a day into the right vibration and then try to not resist what is be okay completely okay and accepting of what is it's like it's okay there are plenty of people right now it's all right it's not going to change at that minute but i'm going to take five minutes right now and 10 15 minutes in the evening and just dream about being alone and feel how it feels and be there and see what I see and hear what I hear I hear the quietness I see myself being completely relaxed and alone in this big house you see you have to take time every day to plant the seed now it might take a week two weeks three weeks a month two months whatever it will take depending on the strengths of your vibration and depending on how fast you can let go of your attachment to complaining or looking at what you don't like so if you can look or avoid looking at what you don't like as much as you can yes it's true it's the reason is it's your house if it's in your house if it's in your family do whatever it takes it might be that you have to let go and turn your back and go to your room or um Put the headset on and listen to something else or go for a walk or it's not if you look at it honestly it's not 24 7. so when you're free and you can focus focus on what you want when you're in the middle of it use the last time you can change your attention try to look for something to appreciate even um 
do whatever it takes to detach your attention about it and just accept it. <clears throat> Acceptance is a huge step that allows. So what kind of meditation do you recommend? All right, let me see. What I love to do is my smiling meditation. I don't think my team has put it out there yet, but I, I described it one day. Oh, yes, so there are so many good questions today. It's like, wow, I need to write all those questions. I can answer them. Where are the feelings coming from? They are in your body. So feelings are neuropeptides. They are produced by the brain, but they end up in the bloodstream in every cell of your body. That's why we have memories that are physical body memories. And that's why you feel things in your heart, in your guts, etc. Because they are produced in the brain, but it's only a chemical that ends up, it's a neuropeptide and it ends up hooked into your cells directly there. And then actually your cells get more or less addicted to a certain emotion, which is a protein because it creates more and more receptors to that protein. So if you are used to be angry or to be worried, you have tons of protein receptors on your cells that are going to ask your brain to produce more worrying thoughts. So there is a little moment where you need to use your will to create new ways of thinking and focusing. So that was the short version of, you know, are your feelings in your body or in your mind? And then about meditation. I'm writing all those questions. There were many others. There were, oh yeah, the surrounding, etc. So, what I like is to smile. To do my smiling meditation. It's one of the most powerful. You can you use the, the power of the body to actually create new neurotransmitters and affect your brain so that you feel better. So um, look at the power of the smile. It's incredible. It's well known, but everyone, I want everyone on the call to, to do a smile right now. That's kind of the shortest way to feeling good. Smile until you feel better. So I smile and then I see myself in the mirror smiling back to me. That enhances the smile. And then I can see the word smile writing on the mirror in front of me. And then I try to do that over and over again. Sometimes I count my breaths at the same time. And I put a timer, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So important to have the timer because then you can really relax and you know you're not going to, to fall asleep forever or whatever. <laughs> oh, bed service. Okay, well, find us on, uh, on Facebook, okay? You can listen to us on Facebook. That's why we have the Facebook recording because then if you don't have a good service, you can always join us afterwards and listen again all right let's see i love when i can get moments during the day you have a really yeah to be uh, to really be untuned sometimes yeah you do have to turn off you know Martin says, I have a lot of friends who are introverts here. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it, actually. It's good to, you know, it's who you are. And I am pretty much an introvert too, you know. I, you know, I have some friends, but I, I really like my inner work. I really like my inner world. <laughs> yes, I can't stay in a big crowd for a long time, yeah. I understand. Actually, big crowds, lots of energy. So if you're sensitive to energy, you, know, you might not feel that good. 
Yeah, might could help introverts if they want to get out and if they feel like they have a fear, it's different. To have a fear of others and of society, absolutely. Or if it's your natural tendency that you feel so much better being writing a book or being in your own world. Jen says, I keep trying to meditate in bed when I wake up, but sometimes it doesn't work. Is it always better to go in another room and sit? You know what? Yeah, and I am not the perfect, you know, example. I meditate in bed and I go back and forth, sleep and meditation, but it's the time I actually download ideas. So I don't mind. I, I, you know, I begin meditation and then boom, perhaps I go to sleep or I lose track, I come back and then my thought goes to something and then sometimes it's a genius idea. So yes, it's, it's better supposedly in order to really stay meditating is to sit down in your bed at least or to go into another room. Um, yeah, you, you can do everything, you know, everything you do with just the intention to quiet yourself is so good already. Even if it's just a minute, whatever you do, it's already good. So be good with yourself and try to find the one that's the, that you're actually doing. If you're doing the meditation in the bed, then you can do that. And yes, you might do a minute or two instead of five or ten. At least you're doing it. If you had to go back somewhere else, you wouldn't do it at all. Well then, just do the one in the bed, you know. You do whatever works for you at first and then you will find your own reason. But I love the smiling one. Oh, Moa is here, hello. Yes, we're all doing great. Yeah, it's smiling moment. We are doing the smiling meditation. Yeah, it's great to be here. All matters matter, you're here, yay. All right. Yeah, that service, it's all right. Mandy, hi Mandy. Yeah, please join the smile. You're all smiling. It's the power of smile today. So just smile in your bed. That's the easiest thing I do It's like, so let's do a, take a break and smile for a moment to everyone involved, actually. We're going to send our smile. You can send it to your body. You can send it to others. So let's send each other a smile. Here we go. And I see the time is already passed. I can't believe how time passes so fast here. So let's do the big hug now that we have smiled to everyone. Did you see that? Did you feel that? It was just awesome. So we have everyone on the call here today. We have Farah from San Diego. We have other people from California. I have Jackie from New York and Virginia and we have all of that happening we have uh, we have brazil also hold on to the line in the united states okay everyone who is right here in this continent and we have atlanta oh going yeah atlanta hold on to the big line going from houston to new york just stretch your arm go to it to the line yeah you can feel you all all right, so then we go to London with Moa and uh, there could be other people in England. Ah, oh, then we have, oh, we have Nikolai from Bulgaria again. Oh, and we have Doc from Canada. Hello, Canada, just hold on, Alabama, hold on to my arm. My right arm is going there to New York, so just hold on there. And uh, we're going to London. From London, we're going to Bulgaria. And is there anyone else in Europe? Oh, there's Germany. So Germany, hold on to that line. 
to Bulgaria and then I think we are all good in here and there is of course the Virgin Island is holding on to New York all right and then from Bulgaria you go all around to Martin in in Australia so Martin you're holding hand with Nikolai the longest arms in the world <laughs> and then the other arm is going to Farah in San Diego and here we go we have the whole line and everyone else joining in we're sending love to this line and receiving love from everyone involved and blessings bless you all you can sm send a smile too And we are raising the vibration of this planet. Yes. All awesome souls. Yeah, yeah. Holding on. Yeah, love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you on Facebook. For those who are new here, don't remember, click on the link at the end in the bio and sign up. And then you will be invited on Facebook and join us in the Facebook group. That's where the party goes on and I love you all. Have a fabulous, fabulous day, evening, night, anything right now. It's all now anyway, isn't it? All right. Bye. Love